Friends, in this lecture, we will learn about trend lines. Now, you see, we are having data for nine months from January to September, and number of road accidents happened in these months. And you see, this data is quite staggering. So, we would like to know what actually is the trend of happening of accidents, and we would like also to know the forecast for the next three months that is, October, November, and December. In that, trend lines comes very handy. So, let us make the graph including trend lines. Select the data and Alt F1. The default graph is our column graph with the number of road accidents shown up here. Now, you see this data is quite staggering, and we would like to know the trend. And simply to add the trend is you go in chart filters, sorry, you go in add elements and add trend line. Now, you see here the linear trend line has been added. There are many types of trend lines. We can go here on left hand add chart elements, trend lines, and see there are multiple types of trend lines. Right now, we are going to study only linear trend line. When we we'll learn about statistics and use of statistics in Excel, after that, we'll learn exponential linear forecast and moving averages. Moving averages are going to be take place in advanced Excel part. So, trend line is there. We have added the trend line. Now, it's time to modify certain features of a chart for example the trend line is there let us select this line and double click on that line when we double click on this trend line we can see here format trend line comes up linear is already there what we'll do is we'll go here fill and just increase the width of line line is too thin to be visible we'll increase the width of this line right let us say up to four points and we would like to have a color let us say red which is more visible on the graph after that we will go here on trend line options and in the trend line options we can add a period of three months let us say we add three we can see the trend for the next three months also and in this manner we can add a trend line to see what is the overall trend of happening of accidents and we can see the trend that is further coming up. 